Well, good morning. It is Holy Thursday, April 17th, 2014. I just arrived at campsite. It's about 9.30 in the morning. And it's very strange because it's very still here. There's a, there's a slight breeze. But I was just up on Route 193 at 90 getting gas. It was incredibly cold and windy. And we're probably only talking 10 to 12 miles away, and it's so very different here. It's lovely here. I'm out here today to fill feeders and to plant some azaleas. I picked up azaleas earlier this week at a Lowe's store. I was killing time on Monday uh, and I had a gift card for Lowe's from my birthday and decided to use some of it. And I do know that azaleas like some shade and they like acidy soil so I'm fully expecting them to do really well here. I have a couple of them I want to go plant. So I'm going to set out get to work. First I'm going to fill the feeders and then find good locations for these azaleas. Bye for now. Look at this. My very first campsite daffodils. Oh, aren't they pretty. Now this is a mixed batch, but the ones that are blooming right now are bright yellow and large. They're not very tall, but the flowers are large. Oh, I'm so happy they're growing. They're growing, they're growing. But you know what? This one here, I do declare this is growing. This is actually growing. This is exciting. This is much larger than it was when I planted. This is supposed to be a blue spruce, but it's doing well. And you know, I haven't had a lot of good luck with blue spruces, so I don't know how to explain how two of my blue spruces, there's the other one way over there. I don't know how to explain how they're doing so well. Bitty's growing. You know, it wasn't that itty bitty to begin with compared to the others, but it is getting taller. Look at this. Oh my, we had some large limbs come down. Just missing the campers. Look at this. Okay, I'm at the west edge of my property, right next to the barbed wire where I planted two forsythias. And they are still alive. They survived the winter. They're just starting to show a little tiny bit of green on them. They're going to be tiny. But I don't know. I think these are relatively fast growing. These might very well sprout up high and actually have flowers on them this spring. These are fancy lilies that have a bright burst of yellow and, and a great big red star in the middle, like a rusty red. I left the tag there, but it might blow away in the wind. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to make it, but I planted it anyway. I, it's called Plum Pudding Coral Bells. And basically, it's foliage. Um, it looks like it got some kind of tiny little flower at the top, but they kind of wilted while they stayed in the car this week. But this requires shade. And... It's getting a little bit of sunlight right now, but when the leaves start coming in on these trees, this is going to be a full shade area. I hope it makes it. It is called a perennial. These are itsy bitsy things. Itsy bitsy daffodils. They're like an inch and a half wide. And there's a whole bunch of them. I'm so excited. These guys are going to spread. And these are all north of the swamp, very close to the park bench. Okay, the azaleas are planted. This one's a bright yellow one. It's called Northern Highlights. And it's yellow with a tiny bit of orangish hue to it. It's a real healthy plant and I, I'm expecting this one to do super well because 
it's near the swamp, but it's not in the water. I did this on purpose. I wanted to see what would happen if I planted them in slightly different conditions. This is in a mounded area where there's other trees growing, and uh, I'm hoping it navigates. I hoping I'm hoping its roots navigate around the roots of these other trees. They're not very large, and hopefully it'll it'll take just fine. But the other uh, the other azalea is right in front of our swing. It's a uh, called Mount St. Helen. This too, of course, is a healthy plant, but this actually, when I dug the hole, I ran into water underneath um, about six inches in. So I'm, this is an experiment. This is a $7 experiment. I'm uh, looking to see how well it does in this spot because it is much wetter here than it is over there. Well, 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 we had a maple tip over and now the rest of the maple has tipped over. Moses is going to love this. He gets some more firewood. Yep. Well, that's what happens. It just snapped right off big and you know it's only a little bit on the driveway you know here's another huge tree that could have done some real damage and it landed sideways off the driveway how cool is that god's taking care of me i'll have to go talk to moses now okay well i did it i moved it it's about two feet high the root system was coming up sideways probably feeding off the trunk of the maple I removed it from. Um, I don't know if it's going to make it or not. It wasn't a horribly involved root system. Sure is a cute tree. I gave it plenty of depth on this. Um, I dug a hole first, which was very wise. I got it right back in the ground. It is immediately south of the shed immediately south, about, I'm going to say, 40 to 50 feet. It's a darling tree. Um, I sure hope it makes it. I hope I didn't kill it. Well, I happened to look up as I was walking towards my car, the northwest part of my lot. Oh my gosh, these are enormous woodpecker holes. There's three of them there. They're enormous. And here's all the, here's all the wood chips all over the ground. Oh my gosh. Some very ambitious woodpecker did this. And there's some morning doves over there. They're wondering when I'm going to leave. I have a lot of morning doves here. I guess I'm surprised by that. These are enormous holes. And this one has tiny little cones on it. It's just so cute. Look at these tiny little cones. These are last year's cones. Well, when they're bearing cones, they're healthy. And this other naturally growing evergreen. That's the same thing as what's in the back, whatever it is. I think it's a balsam.